Introducing Steel. I hope you're ready to spend all your gold on child support because you're about to be knocking bitches up left and right. Steel is a big orange freight train that's impossible to stop and will quickly put an end to any team fight with his ultimate. Steel's Q, Bull Rush, lets you charge into people dealing damage and pushing them back. This ability takes priority over and interrupts certain abilities. For example, all of the abilities in Predecessor. Grux Pull? Nope, you're fucked. Sevrog Root? Yeah, it'll root, but only after he's done face checking your sternum. When Steel calls Shotgun, that motherfucker means it. Bull Rush is also great for removing tough stains from under a tower. Force Shield lets you drop a shield that deals a small amount of magical damage and a huge amount of EMOTIONAL DAMAGE. Nothing will piss you off more than working your ass off to finally kill that fed revenant only to watch him walk away at one health because Steel pressed E. Steel's Bonk lets you smash people in the face with your shield and stun them, but you gotta be inside their character model to land this shit. You gotta be close. Real close. Like befriend them at first, gain their trust, meet their family, let your wives get to know each other, maybe even plan a Caribbean cruise together. Then at their daughter's wedding, you smash their teeth in. Steel's ultimate, Shield Slam, is a classic. Put on your luchador mask and go while John Cena on the enemy team. While it's a massive AoE, it's deceptively easy to whiff. You see a bunch of enemies kinda grouped up, but instead of landing a sure ult on two people, you try to be a hero and target it just right so you can hit four with the end result being you kissing the dirt in the middle of the enemy team without hitting anyone. His ultimate is a lot like COVID. It comes out of nowhere, hits like a truck, but doesn't kill nearly as many people as you originally think it will. Counter steal by building Breach so you can eat through his passive shielding. After that, he's really easy to burn down, so just focus up on him and ignore all the damage dealers. And don't worry if he gets in your ADC's face, that's exactly where your carry wants him. He's easier to shoot that way. I'm just, I'm just kind of imagining all the comments I'm about to get from people that just really don't get these. Find the highest point on the map to use your ultimate on Steel today. Laugh your ass off when the damage from Force Shield kills a fleeing opponent on Steel today. Be the real reason your carry is up in CS in Predecessor today. Mangoo!